person who likes uh, changing weather. I wouldn't see myself living on a tropical island and having almost no seasons. I like to have like the cold, the warm, the snow, the rain, the sun, feeling the seasons and like uh, the change. When I was 12, I came to Portugal. That was my first experience with like uh, Atlantic storms. Even though you know the storm is coming, when it comes, it's kind of changed the energy, you know? It's like everything is vibrating and it's a little bit chaotic. My parents were there, I think they were scared for me. And I didn't feel like it was scary. I took it like as a challenge, like something exciting. For thousands of years, people have used myths and legends to explain the power of storms. Storms bring rain, bring wind, bring uh, life and also death. The thing in love mythology is uh, it took the form of like a bird. The sky, the atmosphere is something that's related to the earth, but it's like a different level. Even nowadays, yeah, okay, we have satellites and we like to think that we, we can predict everything. Still, you know, it's alive, so it does what it wants. I always start from the, the place where I want to go. And from there, I can really start to study. Some places have been waiting maybe five years. You need so many things to align. I was raised into this culture of like uh, goals. To be good at school, I have to be the best get the best picture, get the first place. But in the end, it doesn't really mean anything. You cannot change the weather conditions. A few days before going, I try to visualize what's gonna happen, how it's gonna be. Sometimes the conditions can be more extreme than what I was expecting. I start to feel the stress coming up, the fear also. I start to question myself. It's not just about me. It's my wife, my kids. Then it's really like a deep feeling of like, do I want to go or not? When I arrive somewhere and the storm is about to hit and most people, yeah, the natural reaction they have is like uh, staying at home in these days and uh, drinking a hot tea. This is when I'm going out at the sea. When you hear the waves like really loud, that means it's big and that means it's serious. I, I can prepare everything. This moment is what it is. It's like the tension is building. Somehow all the noise of the wind, everything else is kind of disappearing. And when you feel it's the right moment, just go. For me, it's just a way to, to feel like the rhythm of life, no?
it's not about going against the current. It's just about finding a way to, to play with it. Nowadays, we all want to pretend that we control everything, you know? You can never have control over the storm.